It's a story that rocked the Twin Cities 20 years ago. Mayan Burrell was accused and sentenced to a murder he says he did not commit. 11-year-old Taisha Edwards was killed by a stray bullet while doing homework inside her Minneapolis home. Burrell was 16 at the time. After 18 years behind bars, his sentence was commuted in 2020. Now nearly two years after his release, Burrell is sharing his story in an upcoming local documentary about the troubling school to prison pipeline. He sat down with WCCO's Pauline Lee ahead of the documentary's debut. Pauline. Yeah, Shayla, a lot has changed in the nearly two years since Burrell left prison. But what hasn't changed is his mission to help others like him who get trapped into that school to prison pipeline. He sat down with me for his first local TV news interview since becoming a free man. Burrell is now 36 years old. He started his own foundation about a year ago to help fight racial injustice. Now, the documentary he's featured in was created by recent Benilde St. Margaret High School graduate Amani Laban with the help of independent filmmaker Taylor Alexandria. Together they examine how black youth are disproportionately treated and criminalized compared to their white counterparts. Burrell says this conversation is long overdue and it's far from over. Taking my story and taking what I went through and showing my people that know I'm you, you're me, I'm your child. The same thing that happened to me is going to happen to your child if we don't if we don't stop it right now. Do you have hope that things can change? I have hope. I have hope. I have faith. I have strong faith that things are going to change. Mayan Burrell is not an individual. It's a whole bunch of Mayan Burrells that are still in there right now. Um, and they need, they need help. They need people that's out here fighting for them. They need um, even the acknowledgement of their oppression. The documentary will premiere on July 15th at the Capri Theater in North Minneapolis. As for Mayan Burrell, we talked about a lot of things during our interview. He walks us through the trauma he experienced when he was arrested at just 16 years old, how he never gave up hope behind bars, and more on how he's doing now. So head on over to our streaming platform this weekend, CBS News Minnesota, to see our extended interview with him. And we'll have much more about that documentary. You can see that this weekend on our new Sunday morning show focused on positivity with Susan Elizabeth Littlefield and Mike Gustinak. That starts at 7 a.m. on Sunday. Shayla? All right, our Pauline Lee reporting. Thank you so much, Pauline.